going on ladies and gentlemen my name is Kevin Jackwitz this is the cage review and this is a review for WWE Smackdown Live for 72319 you start out with Shane McMahon he's cutting a promo uh, you get a lot of people saying you can't wrestle Kevin Owens of course comes out there's a big promo back and forth and uh, really that was it that was the opening of the show backstage you have Shane O'Mac Drew McIntyre and Elias they all have a bit and you know they're scheming up something for later on tonight we'll get into that then you have Shinsuke Nakamura versus Apollo Crews uh, decent match Shinsuke goes over looks strong which I really liked I really like Shinsuke uh, he deserves a spot so this was good uh, backstage you get a Mandy Rose Sonya Deville bit couldn't care less another very cool Ali promo though right after that and that was that was fine. I mean, uh, I really like the promo packages they're doing for Ali. I want them to do more with Ali, but I like how they're at least giving him something to do and giving him some screen time. After that, Miz TV with Shawn Michaels and Dolph Ziggler. So this is a situation where Dolph Ziggler is, you know, cutting down the legends and stuff, and there's supposed to be a match between Miz and Dolph Ziggler. Um, there's a little bit of a scuffle, of course. And Dolph Ziggler winds up super kicking Shawn Michaels. And that's kind of where they leave that segment. Then you get Charlotte Flair versus Ember Moon. Bailey comes out. There's a big distraction. It was a decent match. Uh, but yeah, Bailey distracts Charlotte. Ember Moon gets the win. So Ember goes over Charlotte, which I thought was pretty cool. And then you get Kofi Kingston and Randy Orton uh, exchanging promos. And I, I did like this segment because... They're mixing a lot of reality, what we know as fans about what happened between Randy Orton and Kofi Kingston, and they're bringing that into their feud now, and I think it works. I think uh, you feel like there's possibly some genuine hostility there, and so I liked it, man. I, th I thought it felt very genuine, very organic. Uh, so good promos there. Then you got Kofi versus Samoa Joe with Randy Orton at ringside. Um... Of course, there's going to be interference. Kofi wins by default. Randy Orton gets involved. No surprises there. Uh, you get an in-ring Finn Balor interview where they're talking about, you know, Bray Wyatt attacking him. And now they have a match at SummerSlam. And then the Firefly Funhouse pumps up on the Titan Tron and Bray Wyatt is kind of giving his retort promo where he's saying, uh, you know, you might be superhuman, but the Fiend isn't human at all. Um, and he's like, you know, beware, basically. Uh, you get a backstage Charlotte interview where she's talking about she doesn't have anything for SummerSlam yet. And so they're kind of hinting toward there's something big going to happen there. So, the last match is Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns. With Shane O'Mac as the guest ring announcer, Elias as the guest timekeeper, and Drew McIntyre as the guest referee. So this is exactly what you would expect it to be. Shane McMahon, Elias, and Drew McIntyre are basically trying to get the upper hand on Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns. Uh, Kevin Owens and Roman Reigns have a little bit of a match between each other, and then they just decide to go after everybody else. So they take out Shane O'Mac, Elias, Drew McIntyre, Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens standing tall at the end of the show. Um, so there's things about this that I liked, and of course things about this that I didn't like. And the big thing that I didn't like really was the Shane O'Mac opening. People were just sick and tired of it at this point. And, um, after today's SmackDown, because today is 8.13, so SmackDown was today, uh, I really have some opinions about today's show, given how tired of Shane O'Mac people are at this point. Uh, but, you know, Shinsuke Nakamura Apollo Crews was fine. Um, I kind of liked the ending. I did like the uh, Finn Balor, Bray Wyatt back and forth. I also liked the kick Kofi Kingston, Randy Orton back and forth. Um, kind of a lack of action, I think, on this show. So, considering I'm really torn on this one, I think I'm going to go straight down the middle with a 5 out of 10. Because there were things I liked about it. Things I definitely did not like about it. Uh, definitely could have been a better show. But I think I'm I think I'm going to go with a 5 out of 10. So that's where I'm at. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. 
If you enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe, and share. My name is Kevin Jackwoods, Cage Nation, out.